morning dear students so under the first pc as uh, we have been discussed about uh, the syllabus in the first clip that the five units were there and in that five unit i am going to be taking the third unit the name of that third unit is cell structure and function so let us deeply in this chapter sorry in this unit three chapters were there totally three chapters were there the first chapter is cell its structure and function second cell cycle third biological molecules so these are three important chapters as we are going to be using the repeatedly important 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 because we cannot predict that which question will arise in your final examination and one thing the student has to be remember that this point keep in your mind that every student to be the pass second pc right whereas they may even score first class they even score 90 plus but getting medical seat through the help of entrance examination is very essential so for that whenever i am going to be using i always use this is very important for neat level this is very important for tv level so student has to be note down as a put the star mark over there that is very essential for your student because framing the notes is very essential for the student when you will go for revising you will get the success so let us we go for learning about this cell structure and function so first time the cell was discovered by robert hook so robert hook has been observed these cell like a honeycomb in the plant cork cambium whereas this cell was first time look through the help of a microscope was anton von leeuwenhoek so anton von leeuwenhoek is a scientist through the help of his microscope he observed the cell so what actually the cell is as you know very well that the cell is the fundamental basic structural and functional unit of living organism so once again i am using the word fundamental fundamental andra moola da thala thala anta karithano base anta karithano so adike generally indi kelavu sari ee book de yen kodutha andre basic unit of structure and of function basic unit some word use a basic unit basic unit is in a general english standard english is fundamental your english standard it is going to be measured by the help of that so fundamental unit of a living organism is a cell so fundamental structural and functional unit of organism is called as cell and this cell consists of you know very well different because the same for example a human being an organism it is an organism we feel that we are great but actually we forget that we are just animals i uh, am animal yes this animal body is made up of its a number of cells number means billions trillions of cells were there but all cells are working because of that organism is surviving sometimes like a bacteria amoeba euclina paramecium these are also organism but their body is made up of it only one cell so the organism which are made up of it only one cell they are called as a unicellular organism whereas the organism made up of it more than one cell they are made up of the multicellular organism whether the organism is a unicellular or multicellular is a secondary but the question arises that what actually that cell is means organism is made up of the cell cell is a basic structural and functional unit of an organism and this cell this cell performs all the life activity remember my student this if you understand the chapter will be very easy for you the entire biology is very easy for you this point to be remember throughout your life what is that every cell it may be unicellular or it may be present in the human being that every cell perform life activities what are those life activities respiration 
digestion excretion locomotion right reproduction understand so these are most important life activities every cell has to be eat sorry respire first if it respires what it respires it will take the oxygen in and gives out the carbon dioxide why it will take the oxygen and why it gives the carbon dioxide they will learn it during a photosynthetic respiratory substance in the fourth unit chart right so here every cell respires means they every cell will use oxygen for its survival and why they use to break down the food substance so digestion to digest the organism the cell is in need of oxygen to digest the food that is why i said that the glycolysis creates a cycle pyrimidine oxidation you are going to be learning individually later on so that digestion of food is depend that demand the cell demand oxygen if you will give me the oxygen i will break the food substance when food substance break down energy releases you will do the work that is the second during that there will be the release of waste substance during the breakdown of food substance waste substance will form that waste substance is removing out from the body in the form of urine called as excretion right then locomotion many of the cells present in the body specifically rbcs wbcs the platelets they has to be moved from one place to the other place but rest of other that is they were going to be stagnant but it is also moving the entire body is moving means cells are moving consideration locomotion then they have to reproduce one cell has to be reproduced you are the growing children so just imagine if itself how you were when you took birth very small when you went first standard second standard third standard fourth standard now first pc your length is approximately 5 5 feet 2 inch 5 feet 3 inch like that what is happening increase in the length why increase in the length multiplication of a cell number of multiplication increase in the length that's why i say to students that these are very important every cell inside the body every cell which is present inside the body that may be multicellular organism that may be unicellular organism that has to perform the life activities first life activity respiration second life activity digestion third excretion fourth locomotion fifth reproduction they has to reproduce so reproduction hang up the story one blood to one and three countries kala na hinga blood bartada odantada alli tallaga one black line aagtada andre eno alli cells gulu satthogide bartane alli matte hosa cells gulu bedibekutane andre alli reproduce aagbekutane cells gulu ivaga apple cut madu mundugade athwa eno hechu mundugade athwa bike kodso mundugade biddu cycle kodso mundugade biddu nade mundugade biddu gaaya aagtava ide melgala that is going to be get become replaced by new cell what is happening there reproduction so these are five are essential so on the basis of that the two important scientists will come so who has been given the theory called as a cell theory most important for a to mark what is cell theory write the characteristics future of cell theory <coughs> so cell theory will tell you that cell theory was discovered by two scientists matthias clayden and theodor skiven matthias clayden is a botanist who has been worked on plant cell matthias clayden is a botanist who has worked on the plant cell in the year 1838 and he seen the cell containing a different cell organelles and his work whereas theodor skiven theodor skiven he is a geologist who has worked on animals in the year 1839 and he also come to know about the cell he said that there is a thin membrane is present on the cell that today we are considering it as a plasma membrane 
So, in the year 1838, a botanist worked on the plant called as a Machia Squidden. In the year 1839, a zoologist worked on the animals. His name is Theodore Stephen. They come to the conclusion that two important points. What are those two important points? They are called as a characteristic future of the cell day. The first characteristic future of the cell day. These are coming to the conclusion. The first conclusion is that all living organism is made up of with the basic unit called as a cell. All living organism, whatever that may be, it may be plant, it may be animal, it may be fungi, it may be monera, it may be you know here one five finger system of classification. Any organism present on the earth is made up of cell. That is the first characteristic feature of the cell here. Second, right? The present cell comes from the pre-existing. The new cell will form from the pre-existing. Pre-existing is a good thing. This is the first 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 thing. Bija mother, we don't have any answer for 